So, did you choose the Xbox or the PlayStation? I chose the PlayStation. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you chose the Greyjoys. <laughs> you chose the Wii U. <laughs> I made the mistake. But who all comes over here to play Mario Kart? Well, I mean, not really the point. So, I mean. As you can um, tell, we're talking about Game of Thrones. The actual new Three Eyed Raven Dark. Ale. By the way, this is cinematic cooking, where the fiction, where we look at a fictional world and their food. And this is just a quickie. Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Now, if anybody hasn't watched Game of Thrones yet, you probably gotta come out of your rock and watch it. Yeah, um, it's it's politics. It's politics, betrayal, adventure, wars, dragons. Well, and then there's this one ring that rules them all. I mean. We need to talk. <laughs> You're gonna then tell me that there's there's not a like a little wizard boy who who's the chosen one? No. The one I'm in watching. Lord of the <laughs> Barney. <laughs> <laughs> you have been watching Barney. So winter actually came a little bit early for me. Um, I was at the Hillards down the street. I live in Michigan, um, and they had the Game of Thrones Dark Ale, and Three Eyed Raven. My thing is though is that I don't. I think, believe it or not, when I take a look at this, it's by the Ohm Gang, Qu Copperstone, New York, that brewery down there. I've never been there. And Adventure time. I've always really wanted to try this. I know they have multiple of them, too. Yeah. I know there's a couple. There's, like, a Hordor one. I know there's, like, there, there's a few, and I can't think of them off the top of my head. But what do you think this will well, this will be? Um, it's going to be a little bit. I'm not a big alcohol drinker. Um, it's 7.2 volume. That's of, pretty strong, you know, potent, too. Um, so I, I'm going to taste the alcohol. I think it's going to be a little bit bitter, dark taste. Um, so hopefully when I pour it wrong, I get a lot of foam. Um. No, I'm going to try to pour it right so you don't. I, I like foam. I'm going to agree with you. I think it is going to be very bitter, but I do like the bitter. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't like IPAs, yeah. and a lot of beers taste like that too. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, try this. Let's try this. So I'm going to show you how to pour first before we do anything. When you're pouring a beer, you don't want to get a lot of foam. You don't want to pour straight down. You want to kind of pour off to the side. Because if you pour straight down, the carbon is going to foam and almost like pop. Um, but except it doesn't foam, it doesn't uh, settle down like pop. So you want to pour gently to the side and you'll get less foam. So you want to do almost like that. See? Now you try and fail. And you got to give a little bit more of a... There you go. See? You can oh, tell the difference. Yeah. If you do it right, you kinda, kinda have. If you can see that, if not, that's fine. Um, I don't want to spill it out. Yeah. But I'll do. I'll do a zoom up in the. Okay. We'll do. Um. Do so video. let's let's go ahead and try this. It smells to, okay. To, to Peter Dinklage. Hopefully he, I guess, lives, dies, dies. Want him to die? I hope he dies. I do. For one particular reason. Then people can shut the hell. He's the chosen one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? No, that's what they need to do. They need to be like, he is the chosen one, and then kill him. Yes. That's what they need to do. Be like, yeah, you're the chosen one. <laughs> well, the, my thing is, though, is that they spend a lot of time on him, too. Mm -hmm. well, and I don't know how he, how much time they spend on him in the book stuff. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, well, I mean, I think it's I think it's about the same. Mm -hmm. But Painter Dinklage's character is much more popular with a lot of people. Yeah, he's just a dwarf. And he's fun. Yeah. I mean, he's just a fun character. Yeah. And, you know, usually you want to put your more popular character, more screen time, more... Yeah. I mean, if, if they don't kill him off, I wouldn't be surprised. And he was like the, the chosen king? No, no, I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if he, oh. if he never dies. I mean, because he's so popular. All right. Cheers. Even if in the book he dies, you know? It's okay. Yeah. I've had better. I mean, believe it or not, it's not... I don't understand what they mean by spicy. I, I taste a little bit of spice. I don't. I taste a lot of hops. And I don't like a lot of hoppy beers. But this isn't too bad. I could probably drink most of this if I was sharing it. Like, if I was sharing it with people, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to be like, yes, this is a beer I'm going to drink by myself and cry into the small corner. 
So, no. What do you think of Game of Thrones? I mean, mm. I think it is the most controversial show on television, mm -hmm. and people need to shut up. <laughs> I think it is a great show. I think it is very well put together. Oh, yeah. I think every character has enough development from them. I think they go a lot of times to please audience, but still keep that, like, riskiness on it, too. I think there's always room for surprises because they already stated that George R. R. Martin is not going to make the show like mm -hmm. the books anymore because it's catching up like he is. You know, he's taking he his time for it. And I like the fact that they didn't just sit there and say, they keep hinting at this winter and it's already season five. Mm -hmm. And we're like, we I'm still on. know what it's going to be. And that's fine mm -hmm. because there's other things that are happening. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you sit there and be like, I just, I just want to know when the war is. I mean, I'm going to come out right now and say this. Am I allowed to talk about it? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. I don't care. You know what scene I'm talking about? Which one? The scene with Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Is that his name? Ramsey Bolton. Yep. And Sansa Stark. Yeah. It was the dumbest thing I've ever watched. <laughs> and I'll tell you specifically why. People are first off blowing up about it. Mm -hmm. Because in the long run, I can understand why it was that type of scene. Like, I can understand it. Um, at the same time, though... It didn't show anything. It didn't do anything. First off, you already got incest in it. And Jamie Lannister threw himself onto Cersei's anyway on Jeffrey's dead corpse. <laughs> and they're brother and sister. And they just bone right there. And she doesn't even want it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, so that's okay? I, it just, I think people need to settle down when it yeah. comes to these types of shows. This show is about that time period. It's about that time period. It's, it's about how anything can go. Yeah. Like it's, it's, you know, I don't know where I'm going with that's this. How, <laughs> that is how people were treated back then. Yeah. That is how women were treated. That's how dwarves were treated. That is how people were treated. Mm -hmm. It was not this whole entire thing of, you know, this feminist outlook of it. You didn't have, and, you know... You had strong women characters, mm -hmm. but a lot of them were treated like crap. Oh, yeah. And that's how it was. But, I mean... I mean but that doesn't mean that's not a good show. People, people should calm down because, yes, we're treating these women characters like shit, but guess what? I guarantee you a lot of those women characters are going to stab a lot of people in the back. Oh, dude. I mean, yeah, Sansa, Sansa's gonna get back at him. Oh yeah, they're gonna build her up as a strong character. And she even sat there. Her, her actress even came out and said that was a great scene. It was very emotional, and it was great. Like I was sitting there going, "You son of a bitch! Yeah. You're an asshole." I mean, this this whole but I've show. I've never liked that character anyway. This whole show is about screwing people, both figuratively and, and literally. <laughs> So it doesn't matter what's going to happen to these characters. Right, it doesn't. And because somewhere along the line, they're going to get what's coming to them. If you want to try this beer, buy it. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I recommend it. I'm not even a hard drinker. Um, you can taste a little bit of alcohol, you can taste the spice, in my opinion. Well, as a, as a beer drinker, and keep in mind too, I'm not a professional when it comes to beer. Oh, I'm sa not. same here. Same here. I'm not a professional in beer, but this one, I like it. Like, the more I start was drinking it and tasting it, it's not terrible. It's hoppy, and I don't like a lot of hoppy beers, but it's very dark. It's kind of... It's almost like if I had to compare it to another beer, I'm going to say the Sam Adams, like the... Uh, what the hell is it called? White Lantern, if I had to say it. It's dark. It's delicious. You should try it. Mm -hmm. Have anything else to say, Todd? Well, pretty much um, don't get too attached to a character if you've never seen Game of Thrones. Right, don't. <laughs> um, Big don't key. get offended. Yeah, don't get offended. Um, it is not porn. Yes, it is. I uh, know it's not porn. It's good porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's intelligent porn <laughs> for both the gay audience and the regular audience. Yeah, there's gay sex in there. So, um, I'm Chad. I'm Todd. And hopefully, winter will come soon. Oh, I might have here. You can go ahead and take a drink and close. There we go. I poisoned it. <sighs> <laughs> I challenge you to a duel!